Let us continue our journey through time. Point some new commanders. Who are again not not great. One really good. Maybe I should go back to the field ourselves, myself. Well. Oh look. We could have a non-aggression pact with Sir Bold. Let's have it. Why not? They don't own anything on our country anymore. Maybe we could have an alliance. No. <laughs> We have the same interests, though. That's great. And we have the same enemies. Could you stop converting just singular people and convert the whole piece? Honestly. Right, so the only way to make sure that these ever break is by internal strafe. And struggle. So we'll have a little focus on him and see how it works out. Maybe there will be internal war. The coast of Achaia. After having finally managed to book a passage through the Mediterranean, Mediterranean Sea in order to reach the Holy Land, the Children's Crusade has been forced to an unfortunate detour to Greece after the ships crashed on the coast of Achaia after a terrible storm. Reports from the army are scant, although there are rumors saying that many have started to doubt Fidahu's leadership. And yet, this unlikely horde of youth and peasants still marching on towards Jerusalem. Uh... What could we do? I can really only help. They will persevere at this point. Good. Craftsmen have also worked out. So even more taxes being collected. Let's see what we can build up. In order to immortalize my name, I must have an indelible mark on Alba, improving my realm beyond what even my predecessors dared to accomplish. Ormoheim will be the capital of arts and philosophy. Yeah. I think that would be within his reason. Yeah. Certainly. Some titles being revoked. How are you doing, military Lily? Not super great. Who are you at war with? Some rebellion. Let's extort some tribute there. Raise our troops. This time we shall send our own armies as well. We should be fine on money. Yeah, definitely are fine on money. And uh, let's... We might have enough ships to go at once. But we do have to stand down our... Nah, let's, let's not raise our ships. That gives us a little bit of a budgetary issue there. Combined with our troops. So everyone converge at... Over here. But I wish there was an easy way to send all the ships. Maybe there is. Can't I select all these? No. And just do this, basically. Well, it's still a bit easier than picking them out everywhere by hand. Still by hand, but much less handish. Oh man, there must be a better way for this. It just must be. It's 
So the British, for the first time in history, shall leave the island and sail on toward the continent. Well, not actually for the first time. We did that in the Crusades. But as a conqueror, for the first time, we come... Oh, you're already where you are. Huh. That's why I can't send you. Right, there we go. And of course, our friend will help. And as we have seen before, he has enough ships to actually be of help. We we'll want as large as an, of an army that we can have at once. At least more than he has. We'll put as many troops on this ship as we can. Losing a little bit of gold, but that's fine. We are no longer zealous. Okay. Fair enough. Right, okay, so let's put... Let's put up some more ships, our own, here. Nope, not enough. Not enough. Let's split our retinues off this. Nope. <laughs> no. Don't want to take our retinues. Let's go ahead and auto balance this. Create a new unit and move something largish out of here. These, I think, are my own. Let's find something lower down the ranks. These. And now we can embark. And so we shall. So we go... Up here. Oh, let's not land on his turf. So he doesn't get a chance to really protect himself against our army coming in. Put our retinue back in here. Okay, so there is his army. We shall land north of him. Oh, he's sending some troops. Okay, we need to move out of here. I think this is his own staging area for his invasion of Britain. So we'll go over here and then attack him from the south. Our troops should have regained their morale by then. And we might not get a river crossing for that. Let's fight him here. Okay, he's sending more troops to the island. We shall stand down our own ships. Might have to send back some troops. Oh, nice. Immediately caught them off guard here. Just as they land. So we're not going to have to send troops back home. We're going to see just capital because I think in tributary wars that's really what, what you want to do. We need a court chaplain, someone who loves us. Yeah, a commander of ours. 
Let's have him be that. Really need him to be good at it. Just needs to exist, is all. We obviously can't stand down our ships. Because we need to make sure that we can bring home our troops. Uh, but we do want to follow him. And make sure he doesn't cause any mischief here. See who we could send in to command. Maybe him. Oh, he already is in there. So him. Let's see if he... Ah, oh, he's going back on his ship. Okay. Well then. Okay. Our troops are suffering really heavy attrition here. So this is one of those situations where building a fort might be a good idea. Costs us a little bit money, but... Might help with the attrition suffered here, because it's really much. A lot. A lot of attrition. In order to attract arsids and philosophers to Urmurheim, I need to offer patronage and protection as well as make sure that my court is open. Space for th free thinkers. Right. Oh god, we will spare no expenses. Oh boy. Alright. Let's go and... Make it known that artists are welcome here. I like that we are the cruel. And we're making known that artists are welcome here. So we've lost a good chunk of our army there to attrition. Which is not ideal. I wonder where his army went. The children at Nikea. Despite all adversity and many attempts to undermine his divinely inspired leadership, Pidahu has been able to march his army all the way to Nikea. With the Holy Land finally in reach, the Crusaders' resolve has been strengthened. Pidahu has sent a message thanking me for my continued support during the campaign and asking me any further help I may be able to provide him with in order to prevail against the infidels. See. Well, we could offer to join his war. And why not? We could allocate more resources. Ah, let's join his war. When the time comes. Maybe we can have the Saxons join us. Speaking of which... It's not having a good time there. It really isn't. Okay, we've got some high profile... Prisoners now. Let's check if we can't ransom anyone. There's this very cool button where you can just click it and everybody is going to try to be ransomed. And we may some gain some good gold out of it. Okay, we need commanders out here. Oh well, you're not good at that. Let's let's have you be thrifty. My dear son. Let's have you be thrifty. Alright, we've taken the capital. So next we shall look for riches actually and there's some over here let's get those riches all right ransoming a few boys here left and right so that's good we want to make sure that this army doesn't unite again We have kind of failed at making that sure. Oh, no, no, no. He's, he's going to do his ship thing again, isn't he? Oh, he's still routing. Now he's going to do his ship thing again, I'm pretty sure. Let's just leave our troops here.
I don't think we need to watch out over here because he doesn't have any troops on the continent anymore. All out over here. So we can catch out his reinforcements as they're still weak and struggling. Let's wait until he's locked into this movement because that's going to be the death blow of him. He's crossing a straight, so that's not good. Not good for him. Oh, well, he's defending, but still not good for him. Not great at all. Our flank is doing a little bit terrible there on the side. Nice, more gold for the coffers. Which we definitely need. Alrighty. Let's go just fight them. No good reason not to. Right, what is the next most prosperous piece here? Well, we have given him a good run around. Hasn't really had a chance to fight me well and good. So we'll just keep up the pursuit. Our center flank is basically unbreakable. Looks like. Some more military or whatever technology points. Really good. Right. The angels in Antioch. After receiving a vision of the Archangel Gabriel who helped him. That's true. Lead his army through the treacherous path leading to Otremer. The children of Fidahu have miraculously managed to reach Antioch before being spotted by the infidels. In spite of the boy's claim that the infidels would forsake the devil upon their very arrival without the need for a fight, the heathens occupying Jerusalem have begun mobilizing their army, ready and eager to slaughter the innocent souls marching against them. The world will see soon see whether Fidahu was truly pressed by the Lord, or if I was unwise to put my trust in this child. He does not stand alone, so... I believe we're now in another war, which is fine by us. We shall help them in time, in good, good time. Oh, look who's coming back. The Saxons shall be beaten soon, and then we turn our eyes on toward the Holy Land. Let's get these guys. Oh yeah, we shall keep the trade route running. Worth it. Let's give a threat there. Some more heresies are appearing. Doesn't want to be threatened. How oh, dare he. I probably should give a small peek into my realm and the state of our vassals, but eh. Can't be bothered. <laughs> It'll all be fine, I'm sure. So let's check out this war down here. Oh, wow. Why? That's not a few troops. Are you kidding? Those are some huge armies. We're definitely going to join that. Right, so this war has been won. Let's get our troops on the ship. And let's pick up the rest of our army.
Can I call you into war? No, I cannot. Would be fun to call the Saxons in this, though. So we shall board our ship and send our super tiny puny army south. What are we even going to do, really? Not like we can contribute to this in any meaningful way. What are you fighting against, anyway? Ah, there's, there's some, but how many troops do you have? 82,000! Are you joking? Yeah, I'm... <laughs> uh, I'm... Ah, uh, yeah. I feel like I don't need to help. It looks like this might go over fully well and entirely without my involvement in any serious way. But... I don't know, I don't even think I will arrive in time. You should now, I wouldn't even get there. There's no time for me to get there. So let's stand on our troops. Amazing. Why do you count as part of Alba now? Saxony is just a tributary. Cool. Alright. Man. Amazing. The Catholic Crusade for Jerusalem has ended. Fidahu of the Children's Crusade won. Against all odds, the Children's of Christ have succeeded in their unlikely quest to reconquer Jerusalem. Hosts of archangels with shining armor and flaming swords have been reported to have descended upon the walls of the holy city during final battle, smiting the infidels, turning the defenders' weapons into rust and melting their eyes out. Vidachl now rules over the kingdom of heaven, and few doubt that it was through divine intervention that he was put there. I always believed in him. Look at this kid. Oh, and we have unlocked the Achievement Crusader. Are we now a Crusader? No. Amazing. Okay, he lost most of his troops now, but... That's kind of what happens. Amazing. Well, I've certainly supported worse causes. Well, I'm happy with this outcome. Did this count for our goal here? Yeah, it did. Just three more wars. And we have our bloodline forged. Lovely.